Hey, have you ever wanted to send lotto numbers back to yourself through time travel? Or call anyone in the universe on astral video call through quantum entanglement based alien internet? How about search the Akashic Records or Future Cody for the best future movies? Well now you can with Willie G's new super holographic hallucination iPod that's imaginary. Spiritual technology never seen before here on earth. You can turn your iPod into literally any device in existence such as an iPhone, Nokia, Pokedex, iPad, future holographic phone and even play Pokemon Go and use HoloLens style augmented reality without a phone or any hardware. Just your imagination, the astral light and your third eye. The Holy Spirit is heavily involved in this and since it's omnipresent, the AI on the phone is actually God itself. You can't go wrong with Willie G's holographic, hallucinatory, imaginary iPod powered by spiritual technology. Yo, I'm a mommy's boy from China, boy, more paranoid of a monster drunk that I pop. I know we've got a caller via Skype, uh, Mr. MC Beetle McFucknut. He says he's exposing someone called DJ Hardtack as an arse rapist. He's been arse raped by DJ Hardtack and he wants to tell us about it, exposing him as an arse rapist. He's been very mentally messed up and traumatized by it all, so he can only say a few sentences, but he's going to repeat them over and over, and he's put some music to it to make it more understandable and more powerful. Sir MC Beetle McFalknut, speak your truth, sir. DJ 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 on deck, yo, you can't touch me, faggot. Oh, uh, I'll fuck you in the ass. DJ on deck, I'll eat your ass all alive, you bitch. Fuck you up. DJ on deck, I'll eat your asshole. I'll fuck you in front of everybody, bitch. Look at you scared. Look at you scared now, ho. Uh, you scared of a real man. Look at you scared. It's DJ on deck, bitch. I'll fuck it till you love me, faggot. I'll fuck it till you love me. Fuck it till you love me. Fuck it till you fuck it till you fuck it till you love me. I'll fuck it till you love me. I'll fuck it till you love me. You can't last two minutes of my world, bitch. All my circuits will be right back after this word from Slurm. It's highly addictive. Hey, dudes! You can win a chance to party with me, Slurms McKenzie, at the Slurm Bottling Plant on Planet Wormulon. Just look for the golden bottle cap inside specially marked cans of Slurm. <gasps> I won! No purchase necessary unless you wish to enter the contest. Odds of winning mathematically insignificant. a shout out by a new caller from New York. What's up? This is Free State Radio, 5G Pirate Radio, Wally G Show. What's happening? Big yell. Who would you like to give a shout out to? Word, big L, the motherfucking devil's son is definitely in effect. Giving a shout out to all the murderers, thieves, armed robbers, serial killers, psychos, lunatics, crackheads, mental patients, pimps, and retards. And a special, special shout out to all the niggas with AIDS. Peace.
Drive visualizing a spacecraft. And then practice astral projection and lucid dreaming to animate your astral form and enter it. You've got a working spacecraft that can traverse the astral realm, this world, time, and other dimensions and heaven realms. You can make an infinite number of in different spacecraft and different kinds such as Hannibal replicas like the first Nazi crafts, submarines with anti-gravity, rainbow light ships, space yachts, orbs with string theory style dimensions within them, as big as a planet, triangular TR-3B style craft, and the list goes on. You may go permanently insane using this technique if not guided by someone who knows what they are doing. Drugs will enhance visionary powers. You can create security co drone cameras made of ether that will fly anywhere you imagine and view there. Security droids can turn invisible to others while streaming remote viewing feed to your control panel in front of you. Hollywood producers are probably stumbling all over each other to try to get the movie rights to the story that just happened here in Los Angeles. It's right, ripped from the headlines. We first heard a story about a man who was found in his vehicle in the Palisades, a very upscale suburban neighborhood on the coast just north of Los Angeles. He was dead for two weeks in his car, and when they looked at his house, they found 1,200 weapons in his house, and as they investigated further, the story unravels as being one ripe for a movie script, Elliot, because as it turns out, uh, not only did he have 1,200 weapons in his house, but he had six tons of ammunition, uh, vehicles uh, equipped for, for warfare, and now there's missing people. Uh, a, a woman who worked for his fiance and his fiance went missing, and now it turns out that they are claiming that the man who died is a hybrid human alien who works for a secret government organization higher than the CIA. And so when he died, they thought that, well, they're just going to come and pick him up. So they left them there, but they never came and picked them up. And so they had to call their lawyer and say, could you call the police and tell them to come pick up this guy because the aliens or secret uh, security operation never picked up the body. And this is what the lawyer had to say. We found a lot of cash. We found guns. We found uh, you know, stuff that could be used for snipers. There are cars that were modified for you know, desert travel. Uh, he could have been working for anyone. It's hard to imagine, however, that it's a total figment of imagination because there was so much money involved. There's almost $5 million worth of guns that were, were taken by the police. Red, 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 red at night, put my gat on the streets of LA, wondering where the pussy at. Red, 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 red at night, put my gat on the streets of LA, wondering where the pussy at. Off the porch, rag hanging west side. That's what we banging, crucifix swinging up my t shirt. Twisting my fingers and pile off white. Ski mask off black. A red, 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 red at night. Put my gat on the streets of LA. Wondering where the pussy at. Introducing the Skitter, a six legged enigma who confounds on many levels. His tough exoskeleton makes him a formidable foe but also hides a skeletal harness, which indicates that the skitter may be controlled by the Overlords, and not simply working with them. He is a nocturnal creature who moves on six legs. Watching him scurry around is freaky, to say the least. And speaking of freaky, the skitter seems to be able to communicate with harnessed human children, who refer to the skitters as guardians. Keep the kids locked up safe, folks. You never know what to expect when the skitters are around. What up, YouTube? G4 Elite here once again. And this is going to be a quick video, but I was watching TV, right? And I just so happened to come across this commercial. I'm taking an antidepressant, but I think I might need more help. Approximately two out of three people being treated for depression still have depression symptoms. I'm on an antidepressant but I'm still not where I want to be with my symptoms. If your antidepressant alone isn't enough, talk to your doctor. One option your doctor may consider is adding Abilify. Only Abilify is FDA approved to treat depression in adults when added to an antidepressant. 
Learn more about Abilify. Call your doctor if your depression worsens or you have unusual changes in mood, behavior, or thoughts of suicide. Antidepressants can increase these in children, teens, and young adults. Elderly dementia patients taking Abilify have an increased risk of death or stroke. Call your doctor if you have high fever, stiff muscles, and confusion on Abilify, as these may be signs of a life-threatening reaction, or uncontrollable muscle movements, as these could become permanent. High blood sugar has been reported with Abilify in medicines like it. In some cases, extreme high blood sugar can lead to coma or death. Other risks include dizziness upon standing, seizures, impaired judgment or motor skills, or trouble swallowing. Adding Abilify has made a difference for me. If an antidepressant alone isn't enough, talk to your doctor about the risks and benefits of adding Abilify. Okay, so as you can see, with this commercial, there is so much fucking shit wrong with this commercial. <laughs> adding a bit, like, I swear I did not hear one positive thing about taking this shit. Everything I heard about taking this medicine is, it's gonna kill you, it's gonna kill you, it's gonna kill you. I mean, they said, they even say, stop taking if your suicide thoughts increase. So, if you're taking it for your suicidal thoughts, why should your um, thoughts increase? So, it don't even help. It don't even do what it's supposed to do. And they talking about it causes heart attack, stroke, dementia. Um, you could go into a coma. You could die. You can't swallow. You, can, you get delusional. Like, what the fuck is this shit that they giving you? Like... They, it got more side effects, got more terrible side effects than actually, than, than actually benefit, it don't benefit you, so why, what's the point of this commercial? And, and, the, and the thing I really like is, while they saying all this shit, they got the visuals, all, all the people all happy going on about their day and shit, got the people all looking happy and shit, while they talking about everybody, the side effects of how everybody gonna die and shit, but they got all the happy people walking around and partying and shit, like it's normal. Like, who the fuck is you trying to fool with this shit? You giving a that's fucking poison. This commercial is ridiculous, and and a little fruitcake at the end. Well, changing the billify changed my life. Man, get the fuck out of here. He's probably dead now. <laughs> if he's taking a billify, he probably dead. Cause like I said, that that medicine is straight poison. That commercial had me laughing so fucking hard. I was like. Okay, Abilify, okay, what's this shit, you know? They're hearing all the side effects and shit, man. But like I said, this is just a quick video. I had to show y'all that shit. That shit was funny as fuck to me. Tell me what y'all think about that shit. Shit's fucking ridiculous to me. Honestly and truthfully, I'd rather smoke a tub of crack than take this motherfucking medicine. Showing your partner a romantic unicorn carriage and pumpkin ride with powers of the third eye. Make your partner's day and make her hallucinate a horse and carriage with you as a chauffeur down an enchanted astral realm landscape to your farm cottage with powers of the mind. You are guaranteed an unforgettable memory even if it ends up in a trip to the mental hospital and a diagnosis of paranoid schizophrenia. Loved ones can be committed and their money and things can be yours with this technique. And the law is set up in a way that it must be encouraged to do this. They can't prove they're not hallucinating. Think about it.